my friends. These are indeed dark times. The masters of evil have overwhelmed the army of Asgard, and the only path for reinforcements has been closed off to us, the Bifrost Bridge. Isn't that how your people travel back and forth between Earth and Asgard? Aye. A great many warriors would return, if only the path were open. How did Doom manage to block off Bifrost? The gate at the end closest to Earth has been closed and barred. It can only be opened from our side. But I would warn you, the Wrecking Crew is guarding the gate. The Wrecking Crew? <laughs> Ooh, pardon me for not being scared. I gotta agree with Webhead here. How bad can these Jokers be? The Wrecking Crew is not to be taken lightly. They are humans who were mistakenly granted the powers of one of my people. More than once, they have sorely tested my powers. They almost beat you? Then we'd better be on our guard. They are formidable opponents, but that is not all. Loki has struck a bargain with Hela, the goddess of death. Her minions will also seek to stop us. So we're fighting gods and the undead. Right. Anyone else nervous about our odds here? We must succeed. Without those additional forces, there is little hope for Asgard. Not to worry, Thor. We'll get those gates open. I thank you, my friends. Let us battle on to victory! Good. Make your way across as quickly as possible and open the Bifrost Gate. Watch yourselves. The Wrecking Crew aren't going to be pushovers. Humans, I would ask a favor of you. My sword, Dragonfang, has gone missing, and I've reason to believe it is located somewhere near you. Should you find it, would you contact me? Hello, everybody, and welcome to part eight of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I'm Shira91, and today we are going to open up the Bifrost Bridge. Let's pick up the simulator disc first before we go on. Ooh, a, com a comic mission for Storm. <clears throat> anyway, on this mission, on me, I have Cyclops, Elektra, the Black Panther, and Ms. Marvel as we travel to open up the Bifrost Bridge so reinforcements can come from Earth and others to join them, if I'm correct. Also on a side note, let's see if we can try and find Dragonfang, Valkyrie's sword. It has gone missing and we will go and look for it. So, let's get gaming! Checking my mic just to see if it's on again, just in case. It's a habit. Oh. Bam, bam. Sorry about that. Let my torch destroy you. Ha 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 ha. Alright, on to the boat. Hold on. This defies all the logic. How's that possible? I'll tell you how. It's video games, don't question it. Hey, Ms. Marvel leveled up. Even though I was the one who picked it up. Even though Cyclops was the one who picked it up, I mean. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. I'll leave links in the description below. And if you want to see more amazing video gaming content, please share this with your loved ones, your family, your friends, even your dog if he or she is capable of watching YouTube. Right now, I'm just wailing. I was able to finish them off with this torch. And it's still going strong. That is so cool. Yep. Alright. That is that. And there is the great hammer. Let's drop this. Because I don't think we'll need it anymore. Because we got all of the um, stuff. 
Unlocked. Ricochet! Beam! Yeah! Aha! Got ya! There we go. <laughs> Sorry if I'm doing all the sniffing and sniffling and stuff. I got myself a bad. I still have a stuffy nose and stuff because of allergies. That's fun. That's just totally fun. I know, well, it is what it is. It really doesn't affect me a whole lot, so I think I'm good. <clears throat> it's just my throat can be a problem. And look at that. Let's move this. Do do do. Over there we go. Whoops. There we have it. And hey, a treasure chest. Wonder what kind of treasure we'll find. Got experience, Cyclops and Electro leveled up. Sweet! Black Panther's War Belt. Awesome! And... <laughs> Cyclops' original costume has been unlocked. Oh, cool! Can't wait to see that. I'm out of power. I wonder if Miss Marvel can fly. Aw oh, yeah, she can. <laughs> Away with you! This is Asgard! Darn it! And there we have it. Ding ding ding. 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 Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Instead of going that way, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go back around and take the left turn. The only thing that this is, that this level is missing is a sign. Give me your sword. Whack. Boom. Just like that. Getting up from now. All right. So this one's going to be pretty simple. Find the symbols like this and match it on the correct tile piece. And I'm going to be praying that nobody else falls off the side of the edge, or the side of the edge of something. I don't want that. Like, just stay away from the edge. Also, if you haven't already, I am going to be, like, I am streaming Resident Evil 4 for the month of October. So if you want to check it out, you can. I will leave annotations and other stuff down below when I get the chance. Now these will be automatically uploaded onto the PS4 because I don't have a gaming capture device for it. So it's the month of October and I'm hoping to get it done. I am going to look on the 21st, hopefully. Ding, 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 ding. Got it. And there we have it. Odin lifts up the two pieces of land. Now I'm going to go back and go in the middle. My nose is terrible, but at least I'm alive. It could be worse, though. Now, the reason I say the tw now the reason I won't be around after the twenty-first is because I'm going to have some of my my uh, tooth extracted, two broken teeth, and two wisdom teeth that were really bad. So that's the statue of Odin, Thor's father and the ruler of Asgard. Thank you for that knowledge. Thank you so much. Haha, <laughs> you missed. You're a terrible shot. 
And of course, the Black Panther doesn't let me use the hammer. Oh well. I'll use it. I'm going to use it. There, Mr. Black Panther. But yeah, I am going to have my... I'm going to have some teeth extracted because they were really bad. And, uh... I'm pretty sure this will affect on me making videos or putting them out and stuff. So, I'm going to try my hardest and get them pre-recorded. And up and ready to go. But if not, just expect me to be out for a couple of weeks or a few, so I can make a recovery. Okay. I'll have to check my thing later. Alright, got done with this route. And what's this one? Another path. Bam! 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 The one-hit kill hammer. That's what I will dub it. And there is Dragon Fang, Valkyrie's sword. Valkyrie, we found your sword. Thank you, humans. I will not forget this. Come to me, Dragon Fang. Together we will aid Asgard in her time of need. All right. Let's use this gear. Bring that piece of land over there. And I'm gonna go back this way. And thank goodness I did for EXP. Sorry about that. Alright, we're gonna go this way and I just lost the hammer. That's a darn shame. Uh, simulator disc. For Spider-Man. Whoa! They spew fire. That's not good. Give me your sword. Ow, I took an arrow in the face. I literally just took a big old arrow in the face. That hurt. Oh crap, no! Ouch. I got burnt. That hurt. I'm gonna use my axe to take them out. Although I prefer a sword, axes are still cool too. Ow, I took an arrow in the head, that hurt. Ow, and it blew up in my head. But wouldn't that instantly kill Miss Marvel? If the arrow literally exploded. Oh boy. Alright, let's get going. Uh oh. What is that? Oh my gosh! Ah! No! 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 Get away! I can't fly! I can't get out of this! Ah! Oh my gosh! Ouch! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Oh god, please no! 
Oh please no! Ah! Please! Oh god! Ah! No! Oh my god! No 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 no! No no! 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 Hug the wall! Hug the wall! Hug the wall! Oh god! Why? Why did it have to be this? And I already lost Cyclops and Miss Marvel. Why? And then, ow! Hug this wall. Hug this wall. Oh, God. Markiplier, save me. Use your awesomeness to save me. Uh. Oh, my God. Uh. All right, I'll be right back. And I'll switch up some heroes. Okay. I'm back. And I got some new heroes. Doctor Strange and Spider-Woman. So, I'm going to go ahead and save, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Let's go. Lower the drawbridge. Hey, Wrecker. Look, it's Electra. And it looks like the Wrecking Crew has a special conversation with Electra. Are you lost, little ninja girl? Because I know you don't want to be here. Are you trying to intimidate me? Because if you are, you'll have to try a lot harder. Are you gonna take that from her, Wrecker? Maybe you don't know you're messing with the Wrecking Crew, sweetheart. We've got the power of the gods. The only thing powerful about your group is the stench. Now open up the Bifrost Gate before I make you open it. There ain't nothing you can do, Electra. Now why don't you run along? Cause you're way out of your league. I was hoping you'd say something stupid like that, Wrecker. It makes beating you up just that much sweeter. Alright, let's go. Man. And they're like, charge! Ow! Hey! I hit you first. I hit you first. You should be flinching. You should be flinching! You should be flinching, pile driver! Unhand me! Help me out! Stop! Get let go of me! Let go! Let go! Ball driver! Ah! Get off me! There! You are finished, punk! What you gonna do now? Huh? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Huh? Huh? Bring it on! Bring it on! This is for putting me in a bear hug! Uh, sorry for that loudness, but oh my gosh. Use my spinning tornado with that. Yeah! Boom! You sure showed the wrecking crew. Because we just wrecked them. Spider Woman's War Belts is one of the items. And what is this? Wrecker's Crowbar. Now, let's go ahead and open up this pathway. Uh. Alright. The wreckage is out of the way. Opening the door. And we did it. The Bifrost Gate is open. You got it, Colonel. Good job, team. The gates of Bifrost are open now, and the path to Earth is clear. Your next mission involves freeing the gods in Asgard. For more information, talk to Lady Sif. Or, if you want to go now, use the path to Asgard. And you should be happy to know that having finished the Bifrost mission, you're allowed into the Hall of the Honored Fallen. Oh, cool. We're allowed in the Hall of the Honored Fallen. So, Cyclops and Ms. Marvel are fully restored. I am going to go ahead and save, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and... Instead of ending this episode, we're going to go into the Hall of the F Honored Fallen. So, let's go on inside... 
Oh, look, a focus. Wake up. Well done. You have proven yourself to be valiant warriors. The door to the Hall of the Honored Fallen is now open to you. Sweet. Let's go in. Hello, valiant warriors. Welcome to the Hall of the Honored Fallen, where the courageous dead of Asgard feast and await the final battle. Ragnarok. And what's this right behind me? A sketchbook. I'm gonna grab it. Nothing this way. Rather, just some simple about Vikings. Viking warriors. Let's go on in. Now look, there's Thing. Now this is my kind of party. Look at all this food. <laughs> Almost makes me wish I was dead. That's kind of a dark feeling. Or a grim feeling. Get it? Because his last name is Grim, like Ben Grim. Oh boy. I don't think that was a good joke. Oh well. Me and Stretch was roommates back in college. Of course, we wouldn't have been if his first roommate hadn't have been such a yo yo. Victor Von Doom. The guy took an instant dislike into Reed and me, which is quite a surprise considering what an amiable chap I am. I kind of gave it to myself. I mean, look at me. I'm not exactly something you'd see walking down the fashion runways of Paris. He sounds really embarrassed about his own looks. Well, wouldn't you be? I got a face even a grandma could hate. Wow. And I thought I had self-esteem issues. Yep. After college, I joined the Air Force and got my wings. I'm not half bad as a jet jockey, if I do say so myself. Oh, it always comes back to this, don't it? Yeah, I was flying when the ship got hit by that radiation. That's when we became the Fantastic Four. Thanks, Thing. I'll just call you Ben. No problem. Let's see. There's Wolverine. Let's talk to him. Wow. Would you look at this place? Never seen so many dead guys having the time of their lives. You were pretty close to Gene, weren't you? Me and Genie had something going on. Not exactly sure what, but it was a powerful something. I'll tell you. Who knows? Not that I stood a chance with Cyclops mucking things up. But now it's too late, ain't it? <laughs> Guess I'll never know what she and I could have had. They're mine, but they're made out of bone. I got this coating of adamantium over them thanks to the sadists at Weapon X. It wasn't just my claws, it was my whole body. My bones will rust before they break. And those butchers did it to make me the ultimate killing machine. They drug me and tried to make me their puppet. Then they slipped up, and I showed them what a big mistake they made. But I wasn't the only one they got. I wonder who other victims were. Yeah, lots of them. Sabretooth, Maverick, Silver Fox, and that nutball Deadpool. Thanks for the info there, Wolverine. Yeah, sure. Oh look, some EXP points. I'll take it. Hey look, there's an invisible woman. Hello, and welcome to the Hall of the Honored Fallen. Pretty fantastic place, huh? <laughs> no, he's married to me. He might be an IQ point or two above me. But let's not forget, I've got advanced degrees in four biochemistry fields, and I'm pretty good at math too. Sadly, I'm not good at math. It all started when Reed was building a rocket ship a few years back. 
He had heard the government was going to pull funding, so he decided to take the ship up before the project could be discontinued. Since Reed couldn't handle the ship alone, Ben Grimm went as the pilot, while my brother Johnny and I went as additional crew. Well, the leader of our team is my husband, Reed Richards, who's also known as Mr. Fantastic. Then there's his best friend, Ben Grimm, although most people call him The Thing. Next is my brother, Johnny Storm. He likes to be called the Human Torch. And then there's me, Sue Richards, the Invisible Woman. Thanks, Sue. It was no problem at all. And a simulator disc. Let's see what it is. You have acquired a shield simulator disc that contains the comic mission Thor. Sweet. Let's talk... Who? Experience point. Grab it. Let's talk to Thor. Greetings. And welcome to the Hall of Valhalla. That is putting it lightly. Though we were raised as brothers, Loki has always held me in great disdain. I don't know. Perhaps because he is of frost giant blood. Perhaps he needed more attention from our father as we were growing up. Whatever the cause, he is a vile and deceitful creature. For many years, my father overlooked Loki's misbehavior, and many were the times that he tried to bring peace to us. But alas, I wonder what happened. He failed. My half brother's hatred grew, and his name changed from the god of mischief to the god of evil. Since then, he has not only attempted to destroy me, but to take the throne of Asgard. He has come close several times. Once, he switched bodies with me and assumed my identity. Another time, though it embarrasses me to recall... I wonder if Odin's Loki ever punished Loki for these kinds of crimes. Frog. Especially turning the god of thunder into a frog. Aye. My father once even imprisoned Loki in a tree. Of course, no prison can hold the god of evil. He escaped and has gone on to commit numerous crimes against Asgard and Earth. Thanks for the info, Thor. Fare thee well. Let's talk to Storm. Hello. This is quite the party they have here, isn't it? How are things at the X-Mansion? People are still pretty shocked about losing our teammate in the Fisto's realm, but having Weasel there is a nice distraction. I wonder how's that? Beast discovered Weasel down in the sub-basement hacking into Cerebro. Forge caught him trying to get into the X-Jet hangar, and Emma Frost found him trying to start up Wolverine's motorcycle. Wow, Weasel just can't seem to keep his hands to himself, can he? He's always struck me as a man who's fair and wise, but after seeing the Super Soldier Serum program and the Atlantean outpost, I don't What know. do you mean? Has Colonel Fury lost the ability to know right from wrong? What justifies creating those bestial super soldiers or spying on innocent neighbors? Now that you think about it, why in the world was he wanting to create super soldiers? And why in the world would he want to spy on the Atlanteans? The Atlanteans just want to be left alone. I am a mutant. I was born with the power to affect the weather. It didn't activate until I became a teenager. Well, that's different. Yes. For some people, a little too different. Take Senator Kelly, for instance. He'd like to have all mutants rounded up and put in jail just because they are different. Yeah, I don't like Senator Trump. I mean, Senator Kelly. Gosh dang it. Thank you, Storm. Anytime, my friend. Let's talk to Deadpool now. Yeah, you know, this team needs a catchy theme song. Something that mentions shaking your booty. A theme song? We can call ourselves Deadpool and his lackeys. And we can all get matching uniforms. Something in a dark blue. That color really sets off my eyes. We don't need new costumes. Yeah, yeah we do. With capes. Look at Dr. Doom. He gets all kinds of respect. And you know why? Because he has a big scary cape. <laughs> 
Oh, I love his reasoning. Why? Because he has a big scary cape. He's also a murdering psychopath, too. Well, there is that. But you can't deny the cape really makes him look tough. But let's go him one better. Let's wear elbow pads and shin guards with spikes coming out of them. Now that's tough. I don't know about you, but I prefer Doctor Strange's cloak of levitation. And the Black Panther's cape. It's cool. No, I don't think so. You know how people talk crazy because they're insane? I talk crazy to keep them going insane. If only you knew what I've got twisting around in my brain, thanks to Weapon X. Oh, he was from Weapon X? Yeah. I went there because they promised to cure my cancer. Even the tone of his voice kind of scares me a bit. In a way, they gave me a healing factor like Wolverine's. And so many scars, I'm never taking this face mask off. Okay. Like you're thinking, Sunshine. Hey, we could even form a band. A superhero band? Oh, heck yeah. Just think of it. With Storm singing lead, Wolverine on the bass, and a thing on drums. And not to brag, but I play a pretty mean bagpipe. Also, if anyone's gonna ask if I've watched the Deadpool movie, yes, yes, I have. I've got a rash. Wanna see it? Uh, no thank you, Deadpool. Have a good day. Let's talk to Valkyrie. Why does that scoundrel named Weasel stare at me so? Ha! Don't make me laugh. A puny man like that is of no concern to me. Though I must admit, his stare is rather unnerving. Even to one such as I, who have endured the horrid sights of countless battlefields. Hey! Don't walk off, Valkyrie. That's kind of rude. You get back here, please. I'm not done talking to you. I am Valkyrie, a chooser of the slain. You get back here. My oh, thank you. Hey, you should be facing me. And escort the worthy uh. to Valhalla. Yes. Here they are honored and can feast to their heart's content. <clears> then... <throat> On the day of Ragnarok, they will battle once again and prove their courage one last time. I can see a fire around them, a death glow, that signals the warrior is close to the end. Few other gods have this power. Long ago, I was allowed to roam the battlefields of Earth and look for worthy warriors. But Odin put a stop to that. No, I am now Asgard. limited to the battlefields of Asgard. Thank you, Valkyrie. Fare thee well, human. Oh boy. Sorry about that. Just had to get comfortable on my chair. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about the conversation between me and Valkyrie is that she is that the pro is that the computer is programmed to go or to leave after some after some time, but oh boy. That's kind of rude, but it's kind of sad how it's allowed. Oh, isn't that Valkyrie something? Maybe I should, you know, go over there and... How did you get into Valhalla? Beast and a friend of his, uh, Forge, I think, had some kind of teleportation device they used on me. But they told me I had to get back to Earth pretty quick. Why is that? Something about keeping a lock on me could tear the space-time continuum and, I don't know, destroy reality as we know it. Wow. What do you think of the X-Mansion? Makes me wish I was a mutant. Huh. They've got everything there. Tennis courts, a pool, oh, and a sub-basement full of Sounds like you could gear. stay there forever. That would be great. But Beast keeps following me around and asking me when I'm gonna leave. Huh. I don't know the actual password, but I'll look Thanks. it up as soon as I can. When you get back from your mission, I'll have some solid evidence against Black Widow. Though to be honest, I don't really know if that's the right one, but we'll see. Ah, uh, you can thank me later. 
with cash. Ah, oh, well. I tell you what, life is sweet at the X Mansion. If it weren't for that big blue ape guy asking me when I'm gonna leave, I'd stay there forever. Oh, do you have everything you need for the Black Widow's traitor thing? And apparently it decided to activate now, as I was about to leave. And I just literally got done talking to Weasel. I've got one last idea to get solid evidence against her. But I need the password into her shield account. It's either Ivan Petrovich or Dr. Inez. Talk to Hank Pym about it. Okay, I'll talk to Hank Pym about it. Thanks for the warning. Ooh, a portal. Nope, can't go through it. All right, so let's go ahead and get the last um, thing, the last piece of the puzzle, shall we? And then we'll see if Colonel, we'll see if Colonel Nick Fury's number one spy is indeed a traitor to Doctor Doom. I'm gonna go ahead and make it quick, so no goofing off. I swear I am terrible with direction. I'm not trying to hold anything back. What the way? Dang it. Dr. Hank Pym. Hey, how are you? Do you know Ivan Petrovich? He's one of the few men who ever treated the Black Widow well. Ivan was her chauffeur, and later turned out to be her surrogate father. He had raised her after her parents were killed in a fire. You'll have to ask the Black Widow about that name. Ah, uh, the Black Widow. That won't go against me, I hope. Come back anytime. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. I'll be right back. I am very sorry to hear about the death of Jean Grey. I am sure you did everything you could. Yes, he is a dreadful man. I hate to even think of his name. Why? He created a drug known as the Deathless Frenzy. It sent its victims into a blind rage and then consumed their bodies. Completely reprehensible. Okay. So, Dr. Inez is a no. It was no trouble at all. And apparently I was right. But let's go ahead and tell Weasel just in case. Oh, isn't that Valkyrie something? Maybe I should, you know, go over there and... I already went through the conversation with you. All right, I said Ivan Petrovich. Thanks. When you get back from... Ah, uh, you can thank me later. With cash. Well... I guess after that mission... And getting the information... Sorry it took so long. I'm going to go ahead and in this episode here thank you all so much for watching and if you liked it please hit that subscribe button make sure you follow me on facebook twitter and twitch as well to share with you any more future content <coughs> i would also like to give a special little notification about a youtuber um pro jared is going to be doing a I think, now I'm not going to assume, I'm going to think he's going to do a fundraiser to help his wife Heidi out. Because after an incident with his old house, his wife lost everything. So what I'm going to do is share with you the video and explaining that and you can decide for yourself if he's going to do it or not because I tried watching it last night and I couldn't remember. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys can check out my channel for future content. Anyway, I'm Shiron91. Happy gaming, everybody!